<clears throat> hey everybody, it's Lini. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a special one because I'm gonna share my experience of living in New York and reflecting on the incredible journey I've had over the past year. This is my very first English video. Actually, I haven't had a chance to film it in English so far, but as the end of the year approaches, I'll try to do it to celebrate my great year in New York. Time flies so fast. 2023 has already almost passed and a new year is about to begin. How has everyone spent this year? As those of you who often watch my channel know, I came to New York. <laughs> Until last year, I worked as an expatriate at Amuri Pacific in Shanghai, but starting in April of this year, I came to New York and I started a new career at a new company. To be honest, after working in the Asian beauty industry for over 15 years, I was a little bored and I felt like... I was falling into some mannerisms. Moreover, it is true that I felt like life as a beauty marketer in Korea is too short. <laughs> so I wanted to find a new breakthrough. While I was worrying about this, I received an offer from an American company that focused on the American beauty market rather than Asian beauty. So after a long thought, I decided to take on a new challenge. The first three four months were very difficult as I have to adapt to the new city, new living environment, and new life as a foreign worker. Moreover, since I changed my job, it was not easy to keep up with the new company atmosphere, colleagues, superiors, and subordinates. Everything was new, everything was hard, and everything was overwhelming. Especially, culture shift took me a long time to get used to it. The most difficult thing is, here's murders, monthly house rent, and prices. Korea has a Jansei culture, so it seems unlike that people will pay such high monthly rent, but most people in New York, like, live on monthly rent, so I have to pay a really crazy rent every month. Taxes are also high. The amount of tax you earn is enormous. Also, the goods price is too expensive. For example, the Gennips price here is like 5,000 won. It's very few, few, few. And I think I have to buy some inoki mushroom, pengi basat, like 5,000 won. <laughs> I think it was 500 won or 1,000 won in Korea. Is that right? Because I lived in Shanghai for a long time. I don't know, but here they they cost like 5,000 won it's crazy and there is a credit culture for someone like me who was new to the united states and had no credit record so far i was at a disadvantage in all aspects including finding a new new house or buying a car all aspects this is a problem that can only be solved with time this is the part which i felt like the most sorrow as a foreign worker. But going forward, I'll have to work hard to build up my credit while living in New York, right? Lastly, the diversity here is incredible. When I work at the company, I work with colleagues from different countries, cities, and environment. And I think it's not only are there linguistic differences, but different ways of working, thinking, and acting as well. I'm especially frustrated because I can't say everything I want to say. Ugh. Still, for a year, I have learned to accept this as it is. I believe so. And now for the exciting part, what have I achieved in New York this year despite the hurdles? One, kick off my own new project at a new company. I came to this new company and proposed ways to improve consumer research as my first project. So I'm developing a new platform where I can gather a pool of consumers and contact them whenever necessary to ask questions about product and interact freely. I'm planning to launch it only next year. Happy. I'm so excited. Two, new friends. When I came to New York, I met many new friends. The friends I met in New York have in common. They are willing to leave their comfort zone 
Try new things, enjoy the hardships and challenges come with it. The energy radiating these friends always inspires me. 3. Explore New York's hidden places I was able to enjoy the benefits of being a New Yorker by visiting places that I didn't know about when I was just a traveler. Aside from the world-famous MoMA and Met, I visited many hidden art museums and enjoyed exclusive views, hidden restaurants, and brand new events that only locals know about. Do you feel my real New Yorker vibes now? 4. Obtain a New York State driver's license After three attempts, finally, I got New York State driver's license. I thought I would easily get my license when I came to New York and buy a car right away, but that was just a dream. I was so nervous during the road test, so it was surprisingly difficult. And the sassy New York ignores the driving experience in other countries. It's been one month since I got my New York license. The insurance premiums are too high and I don't have credit, so it's not easy to buy a car. No wonder New York is New York. I've got my license, so it's the start. Five read more than 60 books. As a reading lover, I read more than 60 books this year. Actually, it is expected to increase further by the end of the year. I organize the books I read every year on Bookstagram by taking them by ear, like Lini Books 2023. If you want to see the books I read this year and the most recommended books, stop by my Bookstagram, Lini Books. In some ways, this may not be a very big achievement, but I think these things are more meaningful and precious to me because they were achieved not in a familiar environment but by overcoming a lot of pressure and stress in a new environment. I did well in my first year in New York, so I can do well in next year too, right? This year has been a real rollercoaster riding and there have been many difficult times but I'm trying to shake it all off and move forward with conviction. Alright, you saw a glimpse of my transformative year in New York so far. It hasn't always been easy, but the journey has been worse every moment. I hope this video inspires you to embrace changes and find the silver lining in every challenge in 2024. Thank you guys for sticking with me this year. I really appreciate for joining me on this adventure. Happy New Year!